Muslim terrorist attacks cops while forcing disturbing act on kids, Trump delivers shocking justice. Before Mike Pence became the vice president of the United States, he was the governor of the great state of Indiana. In his last few months of this position, he was adamant about halting Muslim refugee resettlement in his state. Despite his directive to all state agencies to halt it, the Obama administration sent them anyway and citizens paid the price for it. One Muslim refugee waited a little too long to do what he had set out to once he got to America since how he was on President Donald Trump's watch who had a nasty surprise for him that's not going to settle well with the Islamic community in the town of Muncie. The start of the terrorist attacks to hit Paris, France began last year while Pence was still governor when Islamist terrorists masqueraded as migrants to carry out their jihad. This became a very real reality for America with the number of refugees Barack Obama was flooding the country with and not something that the then governor wanted to take a chance with. However, Obama had a 100,000 refugee goal to meet and force these Muslims transplants on Pence and Indians anyway. Khalid Suleiman Bile was out and about in the town of Muncie when he decided to swing by the local Goodwill store. Rather than picking up some cheap second-hand gear and going on with the day, the former Ball State University student who is not a U.S. citizen saw an opportunity to impose a nasty taste of Sharia law on everyone in the store. Fox 59 reports. Police reports and documents filed by Homeland Security say people inside the store were threatened March 25th by a man who forcefully tried to convert them to Islam. A store clerk also was choked and threatened with death if she didn't convert. An earlier report of the incident by Fox 59 after it happened described expounded on the horrifying ordeal that unfolded in the lockdown store. Bile allegedly entered the store and began forcefully trying to convert people to Islam while claiming to be the Prophet Muhammad and trying to place his hands on them. He struck and strangled an employee and told her he would kill her if she didn't convert to Islam. He attacked responding officers, breaking one of the officers' hands and repeatedly kicking the other. During the scuffle, by Ali Akbar, a phase meaning God is greater and commonly used by Islamic radicals before a violent attack, according to an affidavit filed by Homeland Security. The psychotic Muslim probably thought he would get a simple slap on the wrist for it then sent back to his fully funded college to continue his education he doesn't seem to care too much about. However, in President Trump took office and showed all refugees that he has no tolerance for their claim of religious rights or cultural references. Homeland Security took what Baal did seriously and as the threat he is to society and conducted an investigation into who he is and why he did what he did. At the conclusion of that, the migrant got exactly what he deserved by swiftly being shipped back to Saudi Arabia where he came from since we don't need or have to deal with these kinds of migrants in America anymore. According to the Muncie Star Press on Wednesday, Bile was sent back to his native country, Saudi Arabia. Delaware County Chief Deputy Prosecutor Eric Kaufman filed a court motion this week to dismiss battery, resisting law enforcement and other charges against Baal because he was deported, Fox 59 reports. Baal is another perfect example that Muslims don't wish to assimilate into American culture, they want to dominate it with their will and religion. If that weren't true, then this illegal immigrant would have just peacefully attended school that day, for free, rather than terrorizing the neighborhood in a second-hand store, by choking employees out who wouldn't convert to Islam. Ted Benz's wish has been honored at the time he made them in August when he was still the governor, a couple little girls who were reportedly in the store that terrifying afternoon, may have been spared this nightmare that will now stick with them. Now, Trump's travel ban will effectively prevent him from re-entering the country where he's not welcome. Welcome.